Uh, good morning, just on a, a farm here in Dumfriesshire, just having a, a catch up on how the whole crop is coming on for this year. Uh, I thought it was a good idea just to um, to run through a few top tips on this year's harvest for whole crop, what we're looking to achieve, what it's going to do for the cow's ration and also just some top tips on harvesting and ensiling the crop um, in, in probably what's looking like a week's time with this crop. So we've been following this um, late March sown spring barley for the last few weeks and we're just in, in this field now looking at about a week away from harvest. There's still a wee bit of milkiness left in the grain um, but with the weather looking good for the next week or 10 days and some high temperatures this field will change quite rapidly um, and the advice would be for everyone just to keep a, a close eye on how crops are maturing over the next week um, and lining up contractors ready to go. Um, certainly for winter crops that'll be around about now and these spring crops are coming on really quite fast. Um, like I say, looking at the cow's ration, why we're growing whole crop and what we're trying to achieve. So um, we're looking at complementing the different grass silages that have been grown and harvested up to date and what else is to come into the pit. Uh, we're looking at a second forage type rather other than just grass silage to complement that ration for the cows. Uh, it's also got excellent flexibility for young stock and dry cow rations and if anyone's been harvesting some wetter silages the whole crop's in there to, to keep the ration nice and open uh, for the cattle as well um, and it also brings in a nice level of homegrown starch into that uh, ration for the cows. Um, in terms of harvesting, looking at some top tips, we've got um, a few plants here that, that's been grown in this crop um, and we're looking at, like I said, the grain maturing over the next week. Uh, one key consideration is cutting height, so assess how much forage you have in the clamp already. Have you got an abundance of grass silage? Do you need to take the whole crop really low at cutting or can you take the crop a bit higher up? improve the quality of it and improve that ratio of grain to fibrous material if you're not necessarily needing a whole lot of forage NDF um, which will then feed out better. Um, having that conversation with the contractor as to when you're likely to be ready to go, how are they processing it? So one thing that, that we really would recommend for, for a whole crop like this is when that first load lands in the pit, have a good look through it make sure that the, the mill on the forager is cracking every single grain that's in there. Otherwise, if it's not and we get to the end of the day, we're a bit too late if it's not processed properly and there's going to be too much wastage uh, throughout the winter feeding season. Um, once we get past the, the sort of foraging part of it and, and assessing cutting height and, and getting it into the clamp, making sure that we've got plenty of consolidation in that clamp to, to make sure that the fermentation is excellent and having the correct additive on the crop is absolutely essential, especially in a whole crop type material um, where dry matters typically I think we'll be looking for this crop at being harvested around 40 to 44 percent dry matter come next week. Um, so at that sort of level of dry matter, having a, a nice stable environment with the additive included uh, for that crop is, is absolutely essential to its, its correct fermentation and stable feed out right through what will be the winter and into next spring and early summer. Um, so we need that to be to be stable right through that period. And then getting to the to the sort of all important end phase, sheeting up that whole crop really nicely, making sure there's absolutely no oxygen, getting access to that harvested crop and then giving it some time to ferment, settle and then getting it into the cow's ration as soon as possible. Mm -hmm.